Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with Baldur's Gate Dark Lunch 2 game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. So simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem. If your game is crashing in coop mode, in that case, finish the tutorial with the first player. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So first of all, finish the tutorial with the first player. And then if you have leveled up with the first player, then you can import the character now you can ignore the character used by the second player now this has worked for many players so it might work for you so try this if the game is crashing in coop mode now the next step is to delete the save game files for this open file explorer now go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder now if if you don't see app data over here on the top here you can see view click on view and then click on show and then put a check on hidden items if you have windows 11 somewhere over here you will find view click on view and then put a check on the box which says hidden items and then you should be able to see app data open app data folder now open the local folder now over here you can see Baldur's gate dark lines 2 game folder so you have to go ahead and delete this folder now before you delete let me inform you once you delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress so if you agree then make a right click and then click on delete now once this is gone now launch the game now the next step is to start a new game so whenever you launch the game you can start a new game and then that should fix this crashing now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia on nvidia website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search scroll down over here you can see geforce game ready driver this is the latest one right now so click on get download download now now once the download is complete run the exe file and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next now let the installation complete now after the installation your driver should be up to date now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you are using windows security then go to the start menu then click on settings now if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security and then click on windows security if you have windows 10 click on update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now scroll down at the end here you can see manage ransomware protection click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed if the game is installed in c drive select c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will find the game folder in my case the game is installed in e drive so open steam folder steam apps now open the common folder now open the game folder over here select the game exe file then click on open once the game is added over here now launch the game now now open control panel and then click on control panel go to system and security now click on windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now click on change settings now click on add, allow another app now click on browse again go to the game installation folder so steam folder steam apps common open the game folder now select the game exe file and then click on open once this is added over here now click on add in my case this is already added to my firewall so if not click on add and then click on ok on the bottom and then launch the game now the next step is to 
run the game on dedicated graphic card so type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings now click on browse now again go to the game installation folder steam steam apps common open the game folder select the game exe file then click on add now once the game is added click on options select high performance then click on save now launch the game now the next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator for this go to steam make a right click on the game manage browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator click on apply click on ok now launch the game from here so make a double click over here and launch the game from the game installation folder now the next step is to disable steam overlay so go to steam make a right click on game and then select properties uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord running close discord so if you have this running close discord now if you have geforce experience running close geforce experience so if you have nvidia geforce experience running close it so close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking application so if you have any overclocking application such as msi afterburner so if you have msi afterburner running on the computer close it if you have revert unit running close it so close all the overclocking application also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here first and then click on disable all in my case this is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so click on disable all then click on apply click on ok and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 so download this x86 version run this exe file also download x64 so but download both x86 and x64 version and then run both the exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow now I'll run this second file as well so run both x64 and x86 version and then install it so you might see repair or install option so click on install or repair and wait for the installation to complete once the installation is complete restart the computer so run both the exe file again click on repair or install click on yes to allow and then once both the installation is complete you will see the restart option restart the computer and then launch the game make sure that you restart the computer after this now the next step is to update your windows this is important make sure your windows is up to date for this go to the start menu click on settings and then click on windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to dis disconnect multiple monitors so if you have multiple monitor setup disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor also if you have these devices connected so disconnect all the usb devices which you are not using also close all these software so if you have these software running close this software so make sure only the game and the steam is running the rest close everything including all the browser also remove the undervolt so if you have undervolted your hardware remove the undervolt and then launch the game
Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So uninstall the game, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to different drive. So if you have another SSD or HDD, try installing the game to different drive and then launch the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.